New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Because we do tool reviews on this channel, every now and then I get offers from companies that want me to take a look at their products. I get offers all the time by companies that want me to take a look at their boroscopes and I normally turn them down. However, this particular boroscope promises a 360 degree rotating lens. And after reading that, I said, absolutely, we'll take a look at it. We'll give it an honest and fair assessment and I really wanted to see how it operated and I'm sure you will too. This is the model NTS 500 and again it's made by Teslong. The unit itself feels pretty good in my hands and it kind of has a weird little shape to the back but allows you to grip onto the unit without feeling like you're going to drop it. Located on the bottom is a little rubber door and that allows you to access the USB-C charging port and it also holds a micro SD memory card. Looking at the unit from the top down this is the camera port. There is a built-in flashlight along the top Top. That way if you need a work light you can have one. That light is turned on by this green button. It does have a five inch screen and I will tell you the quality is extremely good. The secret sauce to this inspection camera is located in the head of the camera. The head of the camera rotates with a push of the button. And you're probably asking yourself, well, what good would that do for me? Well, there's actually two cameras hidden in the head of this camera. There's one on the very end, but there's also one on the side. Now, because this head rotates, it makes it very easy to take a look inside things and see exactly what you're looking for. Now we're inside a gas can right now and as you can see the inside of this gas can is coated with a coating that protects it but we can take the camera and pan it around and take a look and make sure that the coating is still good and you can see the quality is really good now to operate that camera you use the buttons up here on the top of the plug one will rotate that camera one direction and the other will rotate the camera the other direction this button up here in the top left corner operates as the record button but when you hold it down it lets you switch between camera modes so there are three different camera modes that this unit has. The button up here by my thumb is kind of a multi-mode button. It allows you to not only record video, but if you hold it down, it'll let you change cameras. Right now we're using the camera that is facing a 90 degree, and if we hold it down, you're gonna actually see two cameras at one time. On the left is the front facing camera, and on the right is the side facing camera. If we do it again, we'll switch to just the front facing camera. And that is just the front facing camera. Also, you can rotate as needed, which again makes this a very cool camera. You can also review the videos and the pictures from the unit itself or pull the card out and put it onto your computer. So if you need to print a picture for a customer, you could certainly do that with this particular inspection camera. I currently have the head of the camera stuck down inside an engine that I'm working on. We're inside the water jacket and as I press the buttons to rotate the head, you can very quickly see how good you can see around inside this engine. Now I've currently shoved the camera down the oil fill tube on the very same engine. We're gonna rotate the head and see what we can see. The camera probe itself is waterproof, so if you dunk it, it's not going to hurt it. And the unit itself is water resistant, so if you accidentally get some water on it, it's not gonna kill the unit. The camera LEDs are adjustable. You can change the brightness as needed. On this particular model, the camera has a cord length of 16 feet. The camera cable itself is a flexible metal armor with a rubber coating so it's going to be very rugged and waterproof. There is also a metal hook and a magnet that is included. That way, if you're trying to retrieve something, you can use the camera, find it, and then retrieve that object. This could be very handy if you've dropped something. The girth of the camera itself is just a little bit over 8.2 millimeters, and everything fits in this hard shell case. I have to say, I really like this camera. We only do honest reviews on this channel, and I would never talk about a product that I didn't like. This one fits all of my needs. It fits all of the issues. I've had with previous cameras. It can be purchased on Amazon and I will put an affiliate link down below in the description. If I can find a discount, I will include that as well. If for any reason in the future I have a problem with this camera, I will also put a pinned comment down below and discuss what those issues are. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.